Good morning, thanks for joining us this Tuesday the 13th of September. I'm Paulina Peters, a market analyst with Bell Direct. And this is your morning Bell update. Well, the US market closed higher for the fourth straight session off the back of growing confidence that inflation has peaked. Also boosting sentiment was a weaker US dollar. This saw the Dow rise more than 200 points and both the S&P 500 and Nasdaq lift more than 1%. Investors are now awaiting the release of the August Consumer Price Index report on Tuesday morning US time. And in Europe, markets also closed higher, with the German DAX up the most, rising 2.4%. Now here's what you need to watch locally today. Firstly, following the positive sessions over in the US and in Europe, the SPY futures are suggesting that the ASX 200 will open 0.6% higher. Economic news wise, we'll get an update on just how confident both consumers and businesses are in the current market. At 10.30 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time, Westpac's consumer confidence reading will be announced. And at 11.30 a.m. NAB's business confidence for August will be released. Keep an eye on AGL Energy today, as after market close yesterday, the gas and electricity provider revealed that the Loy Yang A Unit 2 will be out of action for longer than expected, after a defect was identified. Management, however, expects its strong performance during August and September to help offset the earnings impact. In commodities, oil prices rose off the back of supply uncertainty. The gold price also gained as the US dollar slipped. And the spot iron ore price traded nearly 3% higher to US $105 a tonne. It's worth keeping an eye on the share price movements of the stocks going ex-dividend today, including Grange Resources, GRR, TPG Telecom, IVE Group, Inghams and News Corp NWS. And if you hold Domain Holdings, GUD Holdings or APA Group, you will receive your dividend payment today. Now let's end with some trading ideas for your consideration. Bell Potter have maintained its buy rating on lithium miner Orkham, AKE, and have increased its price target from $18.76 to $20.04. Bell Potter expect AKE's cash generation to lift substantially into 2023, given the ongoing strength in lithium demand, commodity prices and production growth. AKE is aiming to maintain 10% share supply in a global lithium market that's experiencing huge growth. It has a portfolio of growth projects, balance sheet strength and cash flow from ex existing projects to achieve this. At its current share price of $15.53, Bell Potter's price target of $20.04 implies about 29% share price growth in a year. And Trading Central has a bearish signal on property group Aspen Group APZ, indicating that the stock price may fall from the close of $1.66 to the range of $1.45 to $1.49 in the next 21 days according to standard principles of technical analysis. And that's all for today. I'm Paulina Peters with Bell Direct. Have a lovely day and happy trading.